Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be part four of the baby body acceptance vlog. I'm doing this in collaboration with some other mummies and I'll link the playlist below. So please go and check out their videos too. So in today's video, it's all about how we've um, started to accept our bodies the way they are. Um, I've been thinking a lot about this and doing these videos has really helped me actually. So what I've realised these past few weeks is that I've been self-harming. I've been treading myself down and making myself feel like shit basically about my body and that doesn't help anyone. So what I've decided to do is to look at my body as a completely different entity to myself. I would never talk to somebody the way that I've been thinking about my body. I would never do that. So I decided the best way to do this last video is to actually look at my body as though it's not part of me. And that it is this uh, vessel that carried my child and kept her safe and warm and that's what I've decided to do. So I've written my I've written my body a letter and I'm just going to read it out to you. Um, I have taken a photo of myself as well which I'll link in somewhere in this video. Um, yeah so I will start the letter. This is my letter to my body. Okay. Dear body, I'm sorry if I have looked at you in disgust or wished that you were not so jiggly. I should never have done these terrible things to my beautiful and amazing body. Yes, my beautiful and amazing body. Together, we held safe and warm a little seed for nine months. Together, we helped that little seed grow. And together, we gave it all the goodness we could. Yes, I thought you had let me down when I got gestational diabetes. Yes, I cursed you when we couldn't lower it, lower it by cutting out the sugary things. And when I had to stick needles in my legs after every meal, I cursed you some more. And when I was induced and couldn't have the calm water birth I so desperately wished for. And when I was in labour for 48 hours, eventually having to have a C-section, I cursed you again. And I cried and asked why you wouldn't produce milk I so desperately wanted to feed my baby with. But now I look upon you, body, with new eyes, with a mother's eyes, and I look at the beauty that you are. I look at the saggy belly, and I lay a hand upon it, and I love it, as I did all those months ago, when we grew the beautiful baby that now lays upon you. And I look at every stretch mark as though they are the brave warrior scars, the tiger stripes, that this wonderful body needed to, needed to have to create a wonderful life. And I look at my hair and the new growth At, and I wonder at why I was ever sad about that. After all, it is new and fresh and beautiful, just like the life we grew together. Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful body. I love you, and I will never think those bad things of you again. As if I do, it would be cl like closing my heart to my child and the beauty of holding her inside the safest place she can be. Thank you, my body. 
love Jo. So I ha I've come, I've accepted my body now. This is this is my my big step to my journey, and I'm accepting and embracing my jiggly bits. And I hope you do too. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. See you later.